Hi there, I'm Eric Griffith, Features Editor at PC Mag, with a new video full of tips to help you become a master of the spreadsheet. Microsoft Excel is practically synonymous with that on-screen grid you fill with numbers and maybe even use as a rudimentary database. Even if you're not a math whiz, here are a few quick tips to help you take total control of Excel. Number one, use Control plus Shift to quickly select data. Sure, anyone can highlight a bunch of cells in Excel with a cursor and a mouse. You can even select entire rows or columns with a click on the headers. But you can get some more granular control with the keyboard by holding down Control plus Shift. Watch as I put my cursor in a random cell, hold down Control plus Shift, and then hit the up arrow. The selection goes to the top. Then when I touch the left arrow, it selects every cell with data to the left. When I hit the down arrow, it selects every cell to the bottom that has data in it. Same thing to the right. Of course, it makes more sense sometimes to just get all the data at once. You can do that by clicking Control Shift Asterisk, or actually it's Control Shift 8. The asterisk is the symbol over the number 8 that looks like a dirty drawing by Kurt Vonnegut or a Walmart logo. Number two, use autofill for repetitive data. There's nothing worse than repeatedly typing data into Excel that's just a series of incremental numbers. Dates, for example, are among the worst. But Excel Autofill can come to your rescue. Type the first couple of items in a series, then on the lower right part of the last cell, select the fill handle. You'll know you have it when the cursor turns into a thin plus sign. When that happens, click and drag it down until you've selected all the cells you want to fill. The pattern you started will magically fill in the rest of the way. The more data you put in at first, the more accurate the fill. Number three, turn text into columns. If you've got a column full of names or other like-minded data that is delimited by spaces or commas or such, you can break the data into separate columns. Delimited is a fancy word in this case for separated. What you do is select the cells with the info in question, click on the data tab, so click text to columns, then choose to separate them by those delimiters or even by a fixed width. You'll see an example in the dialog box. Click next to pick the delimiter, in this case a space, then click finished. The column will magically fill in. Number four, use paste special to transpose data. You've got a bunch of rows in a spreadsheet. You really want them to be columns or vice versa. You'll go nuts moving them from cell to cell using cut and paste, or worse, retyping. Instead, select all the data, copy it, move the cursor to a new cell, then select Paste Special. In the dialog box, click Transpose at the bottom, then OK. The data will be pasted in in the opposite orientation as before, just as you always wanted. Number five, write the same thing over and over, but just once. This is one of those things you just don't know about when you first work with Excel, but it's a lifesaver. If you need to write the same thing over and over and over in a random cells for whatever reason, hold the control key and click into each cell to select it. On the last one, type whatever you want, then hold down control and hit enter. Just like that, every cell you selected is filled. These are basic Excel tips. For more advanced info, the kind that will make you a true Excel Jedi, come visit PCMag.com. Thank <laughs> you.